Jane, you you peaked on Twitter uh, last week with I think it was last week with this tweet that I just kind of stumbled across and went viral about your Fitbit and seeing it spike in the middle of the night in your boyfriend. Like, did you have any idea that this was going to go as viral as it did? No, and honestly, I wish it would just die, uh, quite <laughs> frankly. And, and I'm sure my, you know, being a journalist, like sort of line item number one is report the news, don't become the news. So I can't imagine my network would love this either. If you know my personality, it was sort of this innocuous tweet where our boy Albert Breer had responded to Charles Robinson over at Yahoo Sports, and it was all about this Peloton drama. And I was just joking that, hey, I love health-motivated gifts until I don't. And I was just joking about this Fitbit story that happened. I won't give the time period because, you know, I don't, I wasn't certainly looking to drag uh, the accused or looking for justice. We've both very much moved on, but it was sort of a joke that I would have with girlfriends over dinner. Like I dated this guy once and, you know, how ridiculous is this that I caught him this way and he never, you know, to this day was able to come up with a legitimate excuse for, uh, activity level spiking when he's not answering his phone or picking up his uh, responding to text. And I just, I literally never thought anything of it. And I guess it was sort of just for whatever reason, I think it shook a couple of men out there. How could you possibly be caught this way to have this device on me that can, that, that my you know significant other can track me? I think girls thought it was funny. Ha ha. You caught him. Cause I have, you know, friends that will hold up an iPhone to a guy's face while he's sleeping at night to hack his phone. And so I think that, I don't think, I always say to men, sometimes I think you underestimate your opponents. Um, women are very savvy at some of these things, but I literally didn't think anything of it. And when it went viral and blew up, um, at first it was funny, and then it was sort of, okay, now it's a little misleading. It's making it sound like this happened to me yesterday. I'm very upset about it. I want to drag this guy. I deserve justice. Uh We've all moved on. <laughs> so. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download The Rich Eisen Show app.